Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming at you. I am going to do another makeup tutorial today. Um, I want to start really doing, experimenting more with makeup and so forth. So I'm going to start doing a series of tutorials. Uh, sometimes I may just actually put on makeup. So um, when I do something a little bit different, I'm going to try to make sure I bring that out. For instance, for people who, um, like myself, I, I personally, let me say, I love myself. Um, I'm not in love with myself. I love myself. There is a difference. <laughs> so one thing that um, I noticed and I, that I learned a little technique is when you have a nose that may be a little bit, you know, you just have a nose, there are ways to make it look a little bit slimmer. And I'm going to try to show you that technique today. And when I get to it, I will actually mention it. So let's get started. As always, before you apply your makeup, at least with me, I make sure that I wash my face. I use a cleanser. I do a toner. And then I put a um, SPS at least 30 on mine. I think it's actually 25. So... I try to make sure I do that whether or not it's sunny outside or not. And I'm going to start by applying my Clinique Super Balance Makeup. And I want to apologize in advance. Um, I have my little space here on downstairs it gets a little chilly down here we do have the thermostat to turn on the heat however we tend not to turn it on downstairs because it makes it hotter on the second floor which in terms makes it hotter on the third floor which is where we sleep so for the limited time that we spend, my husband and I downstairs, we try to um, just use the space heater. And I have my wig on and I actually got a clip back today. And always try to make sure, especially if you're using a brush, that you even out the areas on your face. Because I think sometimes some of the worst things that you can do is to leave areas that you don't put anything on. Another point is your chin line. Some people stop at a certain point <laughs> and you can see where their makeup is. If you have to go down underneath your chin line, you can always get a tissue later and wipe it. But it's better to blend it all in so that it gives you a complete even tone. My next step, I'm going to use my dual concealer and I'm actually going to use I have very little of this in here this is a dark and deep and this is my favorite one which I will need to get some more of the dark and deep and now I'm going to show you about the slender what you do is take your concealer and you dab it along your nose on both sides and then you just blend try to blend it really really well um, I'll just take some of it and put it underneath my eyes 
And yes, I'm using the same brush that I used to put my foundation on. And basically blend it. And I put this on my brow area too. Um, next step, what you will do is you want to take your powder brush. And I'm using my Clinique um, powder. It's an amber. And you want to go over those same areas that you just use your concealer to just basically soften it out. And I'm going to put just a little powder since I have it and I'm using it. Okay. Now my next step. I like different types of makeup. I used my Coastal Sense yesterday, but today I'm going to be using a little bit of, uh, actually I have a few things. I'm going to be using my um, Milan which is uh, the Runway Eyes, and also probably some of my Beauty Treats, and my Mary Kay Compact. So let's get started with the eyes. And I'm going to start out first with my Milan Runway Eyes. And I like, um, I love the different browns, brown hues. I'm starting out with one, two, three, four. The fourth one is actually the third one from the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to use out of my Beauty Treats, it's like a charcoal color, which is this color right here. And I'm going to put this right in my crease area. I'm going to give a little bit of a smoky eye look again.
And now what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can. I'm going to use my LA colors. I love these colors. They are so gorgeous. And I'm actually going to use this beautiful color here. It's like a bronzy to go underneath my bone. have and I'm going to do something because I want to bring out a little bit at the bottom. I have, this is called, um, it's a velvet and, and glow uh, contour um, and this is by, I've had it for a little bit so my top has sort of disappeared but this is what it looks like and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of the darker of the two and I'm going to just put it over the very bottom of my lids. It's about the color that I use for the bottom of my lid, but I sort of want to make it pop a little, and it's a little creamy. So hopefully you can see it. Now, if I can find, I'm going to use, sometimes um, I do things that are a little different, because I like to be a little different. I'm going to take, um, this is Deep Plum, it's a gel, and I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to use it to... Um, go underneath my eyelids and use this little now I'm not an expert with this so I have to really really take my time with it I was told that you should do like little choppy choppy steps instead of you know trying to do it all at once sometimes I try to do it all at once just to get it over with I got a little bit darker on this side so let me see can I even get out a little Let me see if I can do it on my top. I normally don't do this a lot because my eyes are, I have big eyes. <laughs> and I don't think I need too much to bring it out, but I like doing it just because of. And now I'm going to use my mascara.
and do a little bit more mascara. Now I'm going to do my lips and the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I use a napkin. There we go. Now I'm using some of uh, Healing Butter for Lips and um, my good friend Kidney Girl blessed me with this and I'm still using it so I'm going to get some more. But I love the fact that it really keeps the lips moisturized. And normally when I put this on, I don't have to put any more moisturizer on my lip for the day. And I'm going to take my lip pencil, which is, this is uh, um, Sina. And outline my lips. I'm sorry, you can't see it. Hopefully you can see it. And my next step will be I'm going to use this is my Tender Heart by Clinique Lipstick. This is somewhat very light. It's not that heavy. Um, let's see. Find my, one moment please. <laughs> my lip pencil. And it's so funny because whenever I, um, I don't know, I mentioned before that I'm a purse lover and I constantly have to make sure that I take out all of my items from one purse and put my makeup and stuff back because I normally take um, like my lipstick, I'll take my lipstick with me. And depending on how long I may be out, I'll take some mascara and maybe my mirror with my powder in it with me. And sometimes I'm looking for things and it's like, you know, I know I had that, but it could be in a purse that I used like a few weeks ago that I just happened to forget to unload. For whatever reason, I cannot find my uh, makeup lip pencil. And I have a, actually, I can use this one. my blush right quick because my time is running out and I'm using my Mary Kay blush and 
and I'm going to stop this right now and I'll come back in a minute. Thank you. <music> 